In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for aluminum sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. So the first thing we need to do is balance the molecular equation. I can see I have three sulfates here and only one over here. I'm going to put a three here, two times three. That gives me six sodium. So those are balanced and I have six hydroxides. I've got to put a two here. That gives me two times three hydroxides, six. So they're balanced two aluminums, two aluminums. That's it. This equation is balanced. If you need help, there's a link in the description on how to do this a little bit more detail. Once we've got the molecular equation balanced, we need to write the states for each of the substances. So aluminum sulfate, if you know your solubility rules, you'll know that aluminum sulfate, that's soluble or aqueous. That means it'll dissolve in water, split apart into its ions. This is also a strong base, strong electrolyte. So we know this is going to dissolve, split apart into its ions. So write AQ. Most hydroxides are insoluble according to the solubility rules. The exceptions are things like elements in group one, like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide. But most of them, they are insoluble. So we write an S. That means it's a solid. So when these react, we'll have a precipitate. We'll have a solid that falls to the bottom of the test tube. Sodium compounds, in general, very soluble, right in AQ. So we have our states. After that, we can split the strong electrolytes here into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So aluminum on the periodic table, we can tell that's in group 3A, sometimes called 13, 3 plus ionic charge. And sulfate, that's one to memorize, 2 minus. So we'll have aluminum, 3 plus, and we'll have two of them, so put a two here. Plus, we'll have the sulfate ion, that SO4, two minus, this three means we'll have three of those. Sodium is in group one, that has a one plus charge. The hydroxide, that has a one minus charge. So we have six sodium ions, and then we'll have six hydroxide ions as well. And those are the reactants in our equation here. For the products, this aluminum hydroxide, ALOH3, it has an S after it. It's a solid. In net ionic equations, we don't split up solids. So we're just going to put two aluminum hydroxides. Plus, we have two times three. So we have six of those Na+. Plus, we said sodium is plus, and this is sulfate, two minus, plus three of the sulfate ions. So this is the total or complete ionic equation for Al2SO43 plus NaOH. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. Spectator ions, they're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I have my reactants here and my products here. So I'm looking for things that are on both sides. I can see here in the reactants, I have three sulfates. And here I have three sulfates. I'm just going to cross those out. I have six sodium ions. Products, I have six sodium ions. Cross them out. What's left will be the net ionic equation. So we have here, here, and here. So let me clean that up, and then I'll add the states in as well. And we'll have the net ionic equation for aluminum sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. And this is the net ionic equation for Al2SO43 plus NaOH, aluminum sulfate plus sodium hydroxide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.